hand and sickle hammers as it may seem to be able to 3D print, it does not come without its trials and tribulations. So I wanted to show you just a few uh, cuts. I've, I've done about a, say so far about a dozen prints of this uh, bottom plate and have yet to uh, successful, successfully complete one. So the first you can kind of see didn't get very far along before the extruder jammed. I'm doing this at two millimeters thick. And so here you can see I got a little bit further along. I'm printing in right now low quality uh, just to save both time and plastic. And in this third one, this is where the extruder jammed and it was, you know, when the extruder jams it just keeps printing but it doesn't extrude any plastic obviously. So I paused the print and then uh, during that I actually did the filament load script just to get the plastic extruding again and you'll see when I resumed that everything was a little bit offset so you can see that you know the circular hole that it tried to draw and then uh, these edges of plastic kind of hang over so uh, in, in trying to resume I ran into that problem. This is my most recent attempt you'll notice it didn't get very far at all and so what I found is actually something that I hope is kind of been the culprit on a lot of my prints in terms of uh, just you know the extruder stopping or jamming midway and what you'll notice is this uh, filament guide tube which feeds the uh, PLA from the spool to the extruder it's kind of stuck and you'll notice that we have uh, the PLA basically crossed over and knotted here and if you look at our extruder that that tube uh, feeds the PLA down here and ultimately if it can't load it it's just gonna stop extruding so I'm kinda hoping that's uh, what's been going on uh, lately with my print so I was able to get a good print after untangling my PLA spool re-leveling the build plate and I actually went to a medium quality print just to, to slow down the extruder nozzles. Nothing fancy, a good first iteration, but uh, just the bottom plate for now. So I wanted to put these booms in just to see how everything kind of looks. So there you kind of see it. It's still got a, a pretty big profile. So uh, what I'm going to do, and if you'll notice this plate is actually quite big. I need to scale that down some. I uh, had accommodated a, a power distribution board here. It's 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter. So that's a lot of wasted space I think to do power distribution especially for something so small so what I think I'll do is I'll size it down and uh, the guys at Stone Blue Airlines posted a comment to check out a pigtail connector that they had done for uh, their power distribution it's actually on their Facebook page if you want to check it out but I think that's what I'll do thank you guys for the suggestion and I'll size this down some you know reduce the weight but that's kind of where we are and last but not least I wanted to mention I failed to point this out in my intro video but this is the receiver I'm going to be using with the build right now I'm only going to be using the four channels and it's a great little free sky receiver and weighs roughly about five to six grams so that should be a pretty good lightweight a receiver to add to the build so that's it for now. I'm going to be working on the top plate and uh, start getting some components mounted and I'll post an update when it's ready. Thanks for watching.